It is snake season right now. Be careful when you're in the backyard or gardening. A Maxwell boy had to be rushed, in fact, to the hospital last week when he was bitten by a water moccasin right there on his foot. Do you see it circled the two fang marks? His grandmother posted this picture online of his injury. Many of you have already encountered a slithering reptile in your yard. In fact, we've received more than 300 pictures within an hour when we asked if you have seen any recently on your property. Look at these photos. Yep, these are local. And there have been more than 200 snake bites reported to poison control so far here in Florida since the season started in April. Now, this morning, we want to help you better understand what you should never do if you are bitten because it just makes it worse and which snakes are venomous. <gasps> While there are 50 species of snakes here in Florida, these are the ones to worry about. They're venomous. Three are rattlesnakes, the eastern diamondback, the pygmy, and the timber. The other three are the copperhead, water moccasin, and the coral snake. If you get bit by any one of these, you need to get to the hospital right away. Um, you could lose a limb, you know, if it swells or gets bad enough. We also have the coral snakes, which are you know, the very bright red, yellow, black ones. They're neurotoxic. It can actually paralyze um, your diaphragm. You stop breathing. Dr. Anthony DiGiolorem mm -hmm. says there are four mistakes far too many people make when they are bitten by a snake. First, applying a tourniquet. Yeah, it's an old wives' tale. People thought if you held something on there with pressure, you kept the venom from moving. The problem with that is now you keep it all localized in one spot and you can cause more damage. Second biggest mistake is applying ice or heat to the bite wound. The doctor says neither slows down the process of venom moving through the body and doing either could do more damage to the bite location. Something else, do not try to suck out the venom. The once you get bit, that venom is spread. There's no amount of suction that you put on there is gonna get it back out. And all you do is you get all the germs in your mouth, around the bite site, you get risk of infection. And believe it or not, snake bites are actually relatively clean. A lot of the times we don't have to give antibiotics, but if you put a human mouth on it, now you contaminate it, it's dirty. You can make the, the bite site worse. Fourth biggest mistake is trying to catch the snake so you can show rescue or a doctor what bit you. Do not do this. Two snake bites are worse than one. And even if you kill the snake, the doctor says people don't realize a snake head still has a muscle reflex that can clamp down on you with venom in its fangs. Yeah, so instead, if you can take a picture of the snake, that would be great. But if not, don't chase it. You're just going to provoke it into biting you. In fact, doctors tell me that they are trained to look for certain symptoms so they know which is the best anti-venom to use to treat you if the bite turns out to be caused by a venomous snake, which is why you don't have to bring the snake with you or even a picture to the hospital. God forbid that you are bitten by a snake. One more thing, Bruce. I was shocked when I was interviewing the doctor. He said that he has seen an increase in the number of young young people who are being treated for snake bites. Let me guess. Yes, posing, Selfie. holding them, want to post it on Instagram. Please do not do that. Please don't do that. It's really important that you know that. He so want to see them in uh, you covered all the things you shouldn't do. Yeah. What should you do? Okay, so this is really simple. And it's, so the most important thing is, for example, let's say you know I'm bitten on my on my finger where my wedding ring is. You do want to immediately remove any kind of jewelry because it likely will swell mm -hmm. if it is a venomous snake. So you want to remove that so that you don't have an issue where they have to cut the the, the jewelry or, or, or the clothing, and there could be an issue in terms of amputation. Obviously, if you have a lack of blood blood flow. The other thing is is that if you were bitten, let's say in the hand, you want to raise it to heart level or slightly above and immobilize. It. Don't use it so that it doesn't continue to spread throughout your body. And immediately call 911, or you can call poison control right away. The number for poison control is 800. It's really easy to remember. It's 800 222 1222. Okay. This is easy to remember. Yeah. We've posted that on newsforjacks.com as well. And those old wives' tales, that's all they are. That's, old, that's old all they are. Yeah.